My goodness, do I have a keeper for you today. Johnny Caps and I present the GK Tech 350Z V35 and G35 front lower control arm inner bushings. A mouthful, but holy smokes is it useful if you drift one of those mentioned cars. Look at how useless and haggard this has become. Chances are, if you've drifted yours, it looks like this. Enter the solution, bam! Now what's in the box, you might ask? You get a set of wobbly boys that use a high misalignment bearing in the center so you don't need to worry about the bearing eating itself after only a few seconds skids. It's also a replaceable bearing that we keep on the shelf. Bonus. Let's install this bad unit, shall we? Start by removing your LCA inner nut and bolt, then move on to the sway bar link nut, and remove and loosen the strut nut and bolt as well. Pop those out, then move over to the split pin and take that thing out. Now loosen and remove the ball joint nut and remove the entire control arm. Now let's go over removing your old bushing. Chances are it looks like this and can be tapped out. If not, you'll have to hole saw it. To quote Johnny Caps, this doesn't have a lot of meat in the taco as you can see here. Moving on to the outer shell, grab a socket that's close in size. We've used a 27 mil here and press that sucker out. You'll notice that one side has a slight bevel and the other side is straight cut. Make sure to press it in from the beveled side so that it self-centers during install. Now press the arm onto the GK Tech bushing as this helps keep everything as flat as possible. Press it down until the surface is completely flush as shown here. Now let's reinstall the lower control arm starting with the inner nut and bolt. Then move over to the ball joint nut. Line it back up and then the strut nut and bolt. Now move on to the sway bar link and nut and tighten the strut nut all the way down. The link pin nut and the ball joint nut. You're going to want to torque the ball joint nut to these here specs, then the strut nut to these specs, and the sway bar link and nut to these specs as well. Now tighten the lower control arm nut and bolt, and then torque those bad boys to the specs on the screen. Install that split pin, spread those puppies out because no one wants to lose a nut. And holy smokes, look at all that movement. No wonder the stock Johnnies fail left and right. Enjoy being able to keep an alignment in spec via GK Tech. That rhymed. Officer Dan and Johnny Caps out. Go check us out on our YouTubes. Por favor. Also, keep in mind that this video is a guide. If you have any questions or problems, please consult a professional to install them. If you have any questions, get at us via electronic mail.